He's the Oscar nominee who's known for his quirky roles such as Doctor Strange and Sherlock Holmes. And now Benedict Cumberbatch is back on the big screen and taking on the famous Dr. Seuss character, The Grinch. Now, our movie man Jason Jabba Davis caught up with the star to find out how he really stole Christmas. Ugh. Merry Christmas to you! <laughs> He's mean and he's about to steal Christmas. Benedict Cumberbatch is the Grinch. Benedict Cumberbatch, the Christmas thief. Welcome to Weekend Sunrise. Thanks, Jason. Thank you for having me on, on the Sunrise of the Weekend. I really love the film and I was wondering if I could say hello to Mr Grinch, please. Sure. I mean, maybe. I'm not going to say hello back. I might say, yeah, <laughs> whatever. You know what? If you want to apologize for something, apologize for that. My eyes are burning. The Grinch is a classic Dr. Zeus character, the first adult and the first villain to be the main character in a Zeus book. Were there a short list of candidates or were you the only man for this job? Very short list, yeah. It just, it, yeah, sort of ended and began with me, I think. It's a long name, but it's still short list. <laughs> they didn't need to move on to the next person? They didn't need to move on to Eddie Redmayne or Tom Hiddleston or... <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was me. I was, I was the guy at the moment and um, I, I, I've loved it. I've loved every minute of doing it. The only grinchiness to it was um, sometimes you'd get a call and it would be in the middle of another job. And I mean, this has traversed two years, so that's uh, Doctor Strange, Patrick Melrose, Dominic Cummings. <laughs> From Boris Karloff's malevolent Grinch in 1966 to the live-action movie starring eccentric Jim Carrey in 2000, the Dr. Zeus character has been dominating the big screen for decades, with the 2018 reimagining raking in 66 million US dollars on its opening weekend at the box office. Now, it's 50 years since the first How the Grinch Stole Christmas became an instant Christmas classic, close to 20 years since Jim Carrey took a swing at it. What influences have the previous films had on your interpretation of The Grinch? I, I, I tried to stay away um, as is sensible, I guess, for most things that have been done before pretty amazingly. Um, I, I, you know, you just, you've got to make it your own. So the last thing you should do is look at somebody else's, especially with sort of iconic performers like Jim Carrey and Boris Karloff before him. Now in its third adaptation of the classic 1957 Dr. Zeus book, the Grinch is back to his old ways, with the 61-year-old showing he's as cuddly as a cactus and as charming as an eel. And he's ready to silence the Who's holiday cheer and stop Christmas once and for all. It's go time. Your monster. Your heart's an empty heart. Now we'll be riding in style. Ho, ho, ho. Autumn decoration, a town down. You can ask Max Allen to play a round. Hey, who is this mean fellow with a skin all green and his teeth all yellow? Max, I'm promoting you. You will guide my sleigh tonight. <laughs>